I mean, I've done so much. I've affected so many. In many ways, I'm the architect of modern rock and roll. Hi. Hi. My name is English rock star Hemi Hems. I'm age 65, and this is an interview. I, is this a subpoena? No, no. This is this is an interview. Oh, thank God. Okay, I can be casual with this one. What do you mean? Like my legal name? My legal name, no. Hemi Hems is a stage name, but by all means, I am Hemi Hems. Playing music, it all started when I was this teenager back in England. My parents' home. I was upstairs getting into all that rock and roll and playing the guitar and singing and stuff. They're like, you're going to ruin your life. Ever since I was a teenager, I've been doing it. Like, I saw the Beatles and I said, y'all should really just come together. And, you know, then they made the song come together. So and I was like, I can inspire music, but I can't really make it. I just kept doing it. And here I am. I was in a band named Porn. And now I'm Hemi Hems. Me, Hemi Hems. Hemi Hems really rose to prominence in the 80s. And gosh, were we doing good. Dude overload. I mean, think of how iconic that is. Do 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 overload. It's it's brilliant. I, I can't say I've ever heard of it. Well, that's your problem. Well, back in the day, it was a bunch of a bunch of cheap vices. I'd say a bunch of cheap vices, but. Now it seems to be, I love to inspire and create, you know, about a year back, maybe two, I, I helped inspire Lizzie Liz and her band The Golden Gods and all that. And, and they, they brought me back from the brink, you know. I was going nowhere, I was probably going to die in a ditch someday. But my muse, now it's, in, it, it's helping others and oh, it's, it's Sophia too. Who, who is this Sophia? Well, I was sleeping with Sophia so I could live at her house. And, um, well, you know how it goes. You catch some feelings inside. and She's just this lovely, strong woman. And I just got to say, Sophia, if you're out there, you're my muse. And I miss seeing you. We still see each other, today. We still see each other. I want to see you more, baby. I want to see you. Maybe I can come back to your house and live there for the typical fee. The 17 year two, I was in this big dry spout, so I figured I need to do something big, I gotta go big. And I end up in Gulf Shores, Alabama, in the United States, and I've just, I've been here in the States ever since. I was in Gulf Shores for about, you know, 15 of those years, and I'd just go to places and play. Dive bars, seafood restaurants, some place called The Wharf, I don't know. Um, problem is, I'm half in the bag, you know? I'm out on my mind half the time. I'm half in on a bag of rocks and booze and all this other stuff. So year 16 was an all-time low. I'm gonna be real. You know? Year 16 was an all-time low. Year 15, they did that obscure interview bullshit, and here I am at the end of it talking to a palm tree, talking about 17 years, we're going to go to all these different places, and you know, year, year 17, it really popped off, you know, I do that show with Lizzie Liz, everything skyrockets, in the crowd there was a guy demanding 17 more years, and let me just say, he might be a very happy man in the future. But the 17-year tour, honestly, in retrospect, it's this decadence of cheap vices, but in a very artful way. And then I met Lizzie Liz in that little rinky-dink town where they do a music festival every year. But it ended there, and it was a good place to end. And I think the 17-year tour was this bold experiment in music. It was just art. It was art. Maybe a little porn mixed in too, but it was art.
I met Liz, she just kind of ran up to me and was like, hey, it's you. And I'm like, who the hell are you? So I did this interview in Gulf Shores. It was probably my lowest point while on that 17 year tour. I thought she was just going to talk about that, but no, she knew me. She knew MEMs. She was a brilliant musician herself. What that concert turned into was, it, it was supposed to be about me, but I gave the interview to Liz and now she's doing her thing with the Golden Gods and they're, they're great, you know. She's a great uh, pupil of mine. Well, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. I haven't go through it before. I didn't write in the songs. I wrote them for me. And then I sold the lyrics. You know why? Because sometimes you're just... You're attached to those cheap vices. They're not real. They don't last. So you sell pots of yourself. Pots I sold were lyrics to songs. It's like, I'm giving them hits, and they didn't even know. They go get big, and they've got my songs. And then what, what they do is they take them and they change the lyrics. I mean, the only person who I think's done a good job with my lyrics is Kendrick Lamar on Hunger. He took that and made it his own. I mean, it's amazing. And everybody else is like, the Red Hot Chili Peppers just to be. They bought so many of my songs. And they make Can't Stop, Dude Overload, it's pure fun, it's pure adrenaline, it's rock and roll, it's hamming hams. Can't Stop is a bunch of <laughs> It's a bastardization of the songs I wrote. And that's, I've got to stop talking about this, I'm, go, I'm about to start calling out my names. Ketis, Anthony, mustache, ripping his shirt off, dancing across the stage all the time, I know you. It's a, it's a point of contention. I'm talking to my lawyer about it. I've got a lawyer now. We're doing great. We're okay for now. My greatest achievement has got to be, in an odd way, the 17 year tour. Because no band has done that. No artist has done that. Going from my first band, Porn, where I was using my real name, and then going to a stage name, Hammy Hems, and just becoming an epitome of 80s music. It was big, it was special, it was amazing, it was a little trashy, which is what everything was in the 80s, you know? And it's also Lizzie Liz, like, helping her get to where she needs to be, to help rock and roll move along and go forward, and become what it always is and always has been. It's another great thing. 17 year two is up there. And also, you know, what I did to the industry. I sold all those lyrics off. I mean, come on. I inspired the Beatles song, Come Together, for God's sake. It's just, it's all of it. All of it. Liam's career going forward. My career going forward. We're gonna do a new 17 year tour, just like that sign said. 17 more years, people. 17 more years! We're gonna do it great. I'm not half in the bag. It's gonna be done right. We're actually gonna go to Nashville. We're gonna go to Madison Square Garden. We're gonna go to the place where the Lakers play. You know, well, bloody hell, that'd be great. I don't know if the Super Bowl's ready for a Hammy Hams halftime show. It's gonna get nuts when Dude Overload comes in that stadium. But, for now, right now, my new album's out. Hemi Hems, The Rock Goes On. Go to your local stores, get it. It's out now. You know, maybe you can get a Black Friday deal, but we've got it you on know, vinyl, CD. It's on the digital, digi, digital. It features Lizzie Liz and the Golden Gods on a couple songs. We do a new version of Dude Overload. They're featured on it. It's amazing. They're great. I'm great. I'm back up there. That's what's happening now. Hell! You got me. Let's, uh, let's get some content about it, you know. Let's get this thing out there. Let's show the people the demand for The Rock Goes On. Let's get them some exclusive content. What do you say, huh? What do you say? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is what this is all about, promoting your new album. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Brilliant, let's get it. Let's okay. go, come wait, on. Where are you going? Wait, where are we going? We gotta get it in the hands of the people. We gotta show. Oh, Anyways, I'm in full regalia. This is my new album's cover art. I don't know what the hell those are. Probably some crummy movies or something. My new album's cover art. We gotta make sure that people know. We gotta get it out there too. So we gotta get in the public. Come on. Wait, what are you doing? Let's go. Hey, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say you could take that off. Don't care, it's my album. Where you... Come on, we gotta get in the streets, boy. <laughs>